Lay factoring is a grammar uh, transformation that is useful for producing a grammar suitable for predictive top-down parsing. It is suitable for predictive top-down parsing. A grammar in which more than one production has common prefix is to be rewritten by the factoring out of the prefix. This is a layer factoring. For example, A is the uh, variable and it produces alpha A1, alpha A2, alpha A3. Here alpha is the common prefixes. So this one need to be layer factoring by rewriting the production that is A2 alpha A dash. A dash is the next uh, variable and uh, A dash from A dash to A1, A2, A3, A4, AN. When we replace A dash as A1 then we will get A alpha A1 and A2, A alpha 2 and so on. This example, first example is A S2 I T S I T S S C S A or it to be here lay factoring evaluate here E I E T S I T S are common in these productions. So A S2 let us consider this one is this one is alpha then this one is I E T S and S dash. S dash is the new variable. Uh, this one is alpha alpha a dash now this one is new and from s dash we can achieve when we select this one then s to empty so s dash will be empty and here s dash to here this one is alpha this one is common this is alpha and this a dash so s dash equal to m f empty and s dash it will be s a will be remain same and e to b will be remain same so this is the now the question number two here left factoring values a is the left factoring so first one is a to a suppose a1 and from a1 that is a that can be a b b c or a c and now uh, from the uh, from a c here again left factoring is there so we need to remove this again I from a a1 to that is a and a2 and from a2 that is equal to uh, from a2 equal to b that can be by that b or c here from a1 to bc will remain same so last production answer is a2 a1 a1 to A2 and BC and A2 to B or C. So this is the left factor production. Thank you very much for watching this video.